It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer and I haven't used my Blade beer machine in, it seems like about eight months. And I can't even remember, actually, it might have been a keg of Amstel that I reviewed months and months and months ago. So I just filmed a little clip, you can watch it now, to see if this thing even turns on after many months of being out of use. I've dusted it, cleaned it switched it on so have a look at this clip now so i've given it a good dusting i've not used this thing in months now i just need to see if it switches on so i found the plug Ugh, here we go Ooh. hang on there's a switch hang on Yay! Right, we're, we're lit and we're ready to fit a keg. Let's do it. And we're back. Right, so um, we have a keg of... Now, I think the reason why I haven't used my Blade beer machine is because there's not been an abundance of kegs coming out for the machine. It's a bit of a shame, if I'm honest, because I love my blade. It's For me, it's the Rolls, Rolls Royce of the beer machine, the home beer machine market. You have fantastic mini-like dials. Everything's chrome and lovely. The handle's great. The keg fits great. So this is the keg. I went on to um, Beer Wolf's website, and I seen that they had two kegs of Beer Moretti. And this is the Baffadoro pure malt it's 4.8 percent abv and they had another one a rossa um, beer and moretti rossa which i also picked up for my blade that's like seven seven and a half percent something like that abv that'll be coming soon to the channel so yeah we, we're firing up the machine because we found some new kegs for the machine so uh how are we going to do this now usually i stick it there so what i'm going to do is show you how to Fit the keg first, so here's your line. <sighs> right, here's the little protective sleeve on the top. And then what you do, and I'm gonna try and do this with it up in my, you've got a red, you only touch, for hygiene wise, you only touch the orange bit. So um, there's the orange bit there you touch. You've got an orange bit here you touch but you push in hard, oh, like so. And then you take the lid off your blade beer machine, like so. And then you have orange bits on your blade when you lower down the tap. So you put the line through that orange bit here. So what I always do is, cause it, I'm out of shots. What I always do is grab the keg, put the put the line between my fingers, because it's quite heavy, it's eight litres of beer. And I kind of like twist it like this. And then we slide him down, like so. Feed the line in, making sure the line doesn't get trapped. You click it into position, <clears throat> into position there. And raise that up. go and then where where's the lid then we're in so you can then switch the light on and then you can lock the machine you can lock the keg into the machine still working what a machine what a machine now, as you can see, puffer jackets on, frost all over the roofs out there. I'm out in my conservatory again. The keg sat out here in the conservatory and it is, well, it's absolutely freezing out here this morning. So I imagine what I'm looking at now is seeing how cold this keg's gonna go. I reckon it's gonna fly down. We won't stand here and watch it, we'll pour a beer. But I reckon it's gonna fly down to that four degrees, the ideal temperature. So Bira Moretti Baffadora, never really heard of it, if, I, if I'm honest with you. 
I like to taste my beer blind, so let's get straight into it. Pour some beer through the line. 45 degree angle. You've got beer in the line, you've wetted your glass. You've got a wet glass, now you can put it back on the 45 and you can pour yourself a beer. There you go. I absolutely love this machine. I'm not gonna mess about, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not sure if all three beer machines are in shot. Yeah, so here's my um, perfect draft. Decent machine, lots of kegs on it. Don't really use my crepes anymore. Don't really use it at all, actually. Blade, I need to use more of it. Uh, the keg, the price of the keg was well, I had discount because they were on offer. I bought two kegs and the two kegs came in at £66. So that's about £33 each, including, I think I had free delivery actually because I spent over £50. But what you've got to do with Beer Wolf, you've got to buy two kegs because they've got to, got to balance it up in the box to deliver you the kegs. You can't just buy one keg, you've got to buy two. So nice carbonation, golden amber looking lager. We got a three to four finger white head. Quite happy with that, to be honest with you. The head's gonna protect the beer from the oxygen around us. Uh, it's clear to look at, let's get the aroma. It smells good, all malt lager. What a biscuitiness in there really. Reminds me of that kind of continental Spanish, Italian, German all malt lager quality. Czech Republic, of course, all malt lager beers, lagers. A little bit of spiciness on the back end, a little bit of pepperiness. But it smells good, it smells really good. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Lovely and cold. I'm looking at my temperature gate. This glass of beer is freezing. This glass of beer is, it's gotta be, it's gotta be about five degrees, has to be. And it's perfect temperature for drinking the beer. But I'm quite surprised actually, because the thermostat on the beer machine is taking a little bit of time to go down. It's just over halfway. So I'm thinking it doesn't want it to, it doesn't want to be, to be honest with you, I don't want to drink it stone cold. I don't want to drink this all malt lager stone cold because you're going to lose flavour. I think I'm drinking this at the perfect temperature. So you're getting lots of biscuity malt flavours. Nice levels of carbonation, pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth. It's wonderfully smooth. It's a little bit rich, if you like. And then you've got a lovely hot bitterness on the back end with some spicy pepperiness to come through as well. It's a lovely balanced lager, 4.8% ABV. I'm doing the Stone Crow Virtual Pub tonight. I've got a combination of Budweiser Budvar and a combination of this Beer of Moretti Baffadoro to drink tonight. Um, interestingly, the fan, the cooling fans just kicked off. You can hear it. So obviously, it doesn't. It feels like it doesn't need to chill the beer anymore. But then again, the gauge is only on halfway. Perhaps it'll sort itself out. Perhaps it's just 
because I haven't used the machine for so long, the gauges are a bit out. I don't know. I doubt it. I doubt it, but... Maybe i tell you tonight at the Stone Crow Virtual Pub, I'll be able to say whether the, the gauge has gone fully down. Or maybe I'll put a little clip at the end of, of this video when I... Maybe in an hour or two to see if the temperature gauge is actually kind of right down to stone cold. But this is a decent lager. Great head retention, great carbonation, great look to it. Really, really, look at that as I whirl the beer around in the glass. Look at that. A really good quality lager. What I find, certainly from the blade, I've had some people tell me that the Perfect Draft, they've been drinking Budweiser on the Perfect Draft. And the Budweiser, I went into the shop and I bought some kegs the other day for my Perfect Draft. And the owner of the shop is saying people are complaining at the moment with Budweiser. Apparently it's flat. I'd love to know your comments in the comments box on this. Is the, is the Philips Perfect Draft Budweiser, is it a little bit flat? What I find with my Blade beer is whatever you, beer you put in there, whatever you choose to drink from it, it's literally top, top quality, pub poured, pub quality beer. You're gonna get no infection in the line. The new line comes with each new keg, so there's no real cleaning involved. The other thing to look at is that the kegs last 30 days. So I've got 30 days now on this keg. That keg won't last me 30 days. That keg will probably last. Eight litres of beer for me will last me about a week, maybe 10 days. But I think I'm ready to rate this. It's a really lovely lager. Now, I, I suppose what I should be kind of comparing it to is regular Moretti. This is a 100% all malt version of Moretti and I much prefer it I much prefer it this is drinking like a Warsteiner this is drinking like a good quality German lager good quality kind of Czech lager um, it's lovely it's a really really lovely beer I really like that great head retention great lacing Great look to the beer. Look at that beer as I'm whirling it round. Look at that quality. Absolute top quality stuff there. Nice and clear to look at for a lager. It's good. It's really good lager. Really good, eight out of 10. Eight out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom, cheers.